Alright guys, I'm here to do my review of Coding Him Android version 3.6.0. I figured I'd make this cool background with my YouTube username, my Twitter down below, and random page of an Android, because why not, right? So here's the ROM to start off with. As you see, I set it up like me. So let's jump right into settings. Let's go to About Phone. And as you can see, we are running Android 4.1.1 with codename Android 3.6.0 on JR003R let's go back if you go under about codename Android they just show some uh, developers and stuff like well mostly teams because mod and AOKP Chemios I wanna say then you can also visit their sites and stuff like that um so under ROM, as you can see, is the main interface of this entire, well, ROM. <laughs> Let's go to under interface. It's basically AOKP and CyanogenMod 10 kind of mashed together, which I prefer because I love tweaks from CyanogenMod, but I miss the customizations of AOKP. And that's where this ROM fits in. So if you go under general, you can have your custom carrier labels, volume cursor, key control, you can have a kill all button, so when you hit this, you see there's a kill all button. Um, show IME, IME switcher, which is your keyboard switcher, of course. And alarm icon, which is there. Let's go back. Power menu, of course, when you press and hold power button. You can enable all those toggles. Let's go under status bar. You can change your battery icon style. Show you a few of those. You can have your battery bar, which is a little MyUI kind of battery bar going across. Here's your clock style, right, center, or just not show it at all. You can change your color. Also, you can have AM, PM up there if you want, and day of the week. You see, it says Thursday. Um, you can change the colors to signal, Wi Fi, stuff like that, and then also brightness control and the notification count. Brightness control is when you slide your finger across the top, by the way. Notification power widget. I believe this is a CM10 one. Yeah, so these are the CM10 toggles that you can en enable. As you see, I have Wi Fi, data, Bluetooth, GPS, Vibrate, and uh, Torch. And also, that's Google Now, where the uh, weather just popped up, by the way. So let's go back. Now, if you go to notification toggles, this is AOKP. So if you turn on auto rotate, Bluetooth, GPS, Wi-Fi, airplane mode, and vibrate. You see you have two two rows now, which is extremely useful, but I don't use all those toggles, so I don't need that much space take taken up from stuff that I don't use. But if you do use them, I mean, it's a large benefit. So I'm, if you just turn all those off, they go away, by the way. You, this is where you choose layout, colors, and, of course, brightness locations. Here's your navigation bar. As you see, I have four um, buttons at the bottom. You can have up to seven, though. Let's go. I have this is notifications, of course, where you press it down and the notification shade comes down. But you can have home, back, recent, search, menu. You can toggle your widgets, kill app, power, notifications, custom apps, or just have it blink. And also your notification ring. So I can go straight to camera or straight to Plume. Plume is a Twitter client, by the way. Um, you can set the number, which I have three, you can have up to five. And if you go under navigation bar ring, this is where you can choose. Takes a minute to uh, load here. There we go. And then you just hit settings and you choose take screenshot, kill app, screen off, Google Now, or you select applications. And this is where you can select all of your apps. So let's go back. Let's go back. And under lock screen, this is where you can change your background for your lock screen. You can have a clock alignment, target widgets alignment, battery status, weather, calendar, screen security, and slider shortcuts. You can have up to four, eight. As you see, I have all eight. Because I... I mean, if I'm able to have all eight, I'm going to use them because it's easier. See, I have center clock with the center 
weather and stuff and then I have the centered lock screen so that all eight show up and I can go to all eight applications so let's go back um, sound volume panel so when you hit volume up you see you have your everything so my tablet just started yelling at me um, but you can have your volume panel, phone call, silence, so if you put your phone face down um, you can have it set to where it silences the phone call if you go under display this is where you can enable all of the uh, rotations and also lock screen rotation by the way so you can have your phone upside down which with the Galaxy Nexus with the on-screen buttons it makes that extremely useful let's go back, let's go back of course you have the CyanogenMod profiles, you have quiet hours performance is just where you can overclock and underclock, change some tweaks I don't really mess with the other stuff because I'm not really sure what it is so let's go back, let's go back you can also have your themes, I, I left it on the stock system theme but the theme I mostly use is Google A Bean by the D1 Dynasty, by the One Dynasty it's pretty awesome and then launcher which goes to apex settings so let's go down and of course you have your advanced settings that are on most but these are kind of all blacked out which is odd so this ROM has been really good performance has been amazing I have Franco kernel installed by the way you see the Franco kernel app I have Franco kernel so it's been extremely smooth I can go I'm clocked at 1.5 gigahertz, which is smooth for me. I have great battery life. I'll show you guys my battery life actually. Let's go to battery. Been using this. I've been at school a lot, but you see 11 hours. The screen on is 57 minutes, and I'm at 49%. So that's that's amazing for this phone. Not from many other phones, but actually, let's go back to settings. Let's go to about phone. As you see, Kernel, I'm running the latest Franco Kernel nightly because I have the app that lets me update it automatically. So it just flashes in the background. Um, it's had its slowdowns, but if you just restart the phone when it starts to slow down a little bit, I notice that helps a lot. One thing I also notice is with that with Wi Fi is that the Wi Fi is always set to where it sleeps like when you lock your screen so if you just go to advanced you see it says keep Wi-Fi on during sleep turn that to always or else it's just gonna like turn off Wi-Fi on you and that just kinda bothers me because Wi-Fi uses less battery than data for me because I have edge and data keeps cutting in and out where I live so it kinda helps but as you can see the smoothness of this ROM is just amazing does come with torch. I heard someone ask me about torch. It does come with torch. Sorry for blinding you. But that's basically my review for you guys. Let me show you guys the boot animation actually. Let's see if I can get it to sit there. That way you guys can see my well you can't see my Twitter name. I don't know show you guys a boot animation and a bold egg I have eaten bold egg did notice this takes a minute to turn on so I'm gonna fast forward through this part And here we go, we are fully booted up, kind of, it's still starting all the applications and such. But that was my full review of Codename Android on the GSM Galaxy Nexus. Silent Journey. Huh, water's magic. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> spam, gotta love it. There's, it has awesome performance, great battery life. By far, it's one of the most customizable by mixing Signage and Mod and AOKP together, which are my two favorite ROMs, by the way. So it mixes them together, and you just get awesomeness.
And there you have it. That's my full review of AOK. <laughs> AOK um, Codename Android 3.6.0 on the GSM Galaxy Nexus.